Hello, it's me, Gary Branner, again, and I am opening up page 16 of Peter Pan the Vampire, issue 4, to continue flatting. So we left off with, I flatted a panel with Gwen, my vampire slayer, in it. Actually, she is now a vampire herself. But, now we are going to flat out the next panel. So I'm going to zoom in here on this panel of Peter Pan. Oh. And there he is. That's Peter Pan. So let's see. Let's start out with... You got some candy? I'll open it. There you go. So, Peter Pan here. Start with skin, lasso, and I need to change it to magnetic. There we go. Actually, let's grab the eyedropper and get the light skin for Peter. Back to lasso, back to page. Alright, here we go. Start with his ear. And let's see, switch over here. In the top right, you will see that I am clicking on a multi-selection tool. That allows me to highlight more than one area at one time. Okay, here, let's back up. I hope it's not picking up my kids' show too much, but what can you do? It's like I've almost got him locked out here. Trace his hair. And back to where I started. And connect. Now switch to paint bucket. Go over here and click. He's Peach. Very, very pale Peach because he's a vampire. Now I switch to clothing. Lasso tool, and I do the same thing all over again. Tracing his clothes, his shirt. Very simple stuff here. Okay, so now I need an eyedropper, color key, and Peter's shirt, green, bucket, and back to the page to drop. Green shirt. Now I go up to hair and wings, select my lasso, and start tracing out hair. Not a whole lot of hair is showing in this picture because he's cropped out. But it still works. And there we go. Now select multi-selection. 
so I can get the rest of the hair. straight here. Oh geez. Uh, it's not working with me. There we go. Now, <clears throat> let's see, I'm going to go into the freeform lasso now by hitting L. And I'm going to kind of do some eyebrows here, just barely get outside the lines that I drew here. dropper, color key, and hair. Brown hair down here on the bottom. Some light brown. Bucket. Return to the page and boom. Brown hair. Now we need to get to small things. Lasso, change back to magnet, and single selection. What's up? You want more what? Sorry about that. Kids. Want more what? Okay, hold on. So now I have to select the eyes with my lasso. On small things, I'm going to get the eyes and the teeth at one time since they're both white. There we go. Switch back to multi selection. There we go. Eyes. Top teeth. Alright. This is a little trickier than usual because the lines are kind of weird. There we go. Switch to bucket. Click on the eye and we have white eyes and teeth. Now I'm going to switch to straight line lasso and like I still need a little bit of the teeth done here. So I'm getting the 
lasso not click in here. There we go. Looks like they're finally white. Now with the lasso again, I'm going to trace the mouth on the inner side. But with the wand, I am going to deselect the parts that are, have teeth in them. That way I don't accidentally kill the, color those. Blah, kill. Eyedropper, and I'm going to pick a... I think I'm going to do the inside of his mouth a red. Go to bucket, and drop that in the mouth. There we go. Okay, now marquee tool, I'm going to, if you hit marquee, the M, it chooses the marquee rectangle and goes to marquee circle. So in circle, I am going to make some eyes here, nope, that's too big. Nudge it over with the arrows. There we go. Select the eyedropper. And Peter's eyes are green, so I'm going to go with the exact same. Well, on my shirt, I have a base color and then a secondary color. I'm picking the secondary for his eyes. And go back to the page and bucket. Now he has green eyes. Now I pick the marquee circle again, hit the other iris, there we go, bucket or K button, and colored. There, now we have colors. Actually I'm going to zoom in on the teeth, I'm seeing some weirdness going on here. I'm going to lasso out the parts that go on outside of the lines here. Alright, go back to the red and bucket those whites. There we go. And while I'm at. Oh, shoot, did I change his eyes red? Nope. Yeah, sorry. And I'm seeing some red here. That I need to delete, so delete key. And now. There we go. Alright, let's zoom out again. Oh, what are we here? 100. There we go. And Peter Pan has been flatted. So, thank you guys for joining me on this one. I was going to end by going, let's see. Let's scan out. to 16% we'll zoom out to 17% so we can see the full page so I've got two panels flatted I'm probably not going to do any color holds on that one uh, actually no maybe I'm going to color hold since it's a close up I'm going to color hold the skin tones let's see 15% zoom get on my ink layer and I'm going to select all of the lines for Peter's skin hit the multi selection and I'm going to color hold 
all of his skin. Scoop down here. Ooh, I almost got his eye there. Get this cheek. Shadow here. Get the ears. Okay. It's actually Maui uh Oh, and there's my timer. So this video should be over now. But I gotta finish what I started here. Oh, undo that. Okay. And this zoomed in, I'm noticing a lot of parts that the paint bucket missed, so I'm going to fix those too. Okay, so, eyedropper, and for this, I'm going to pick this secondary color, it's a little darker, and boom. Now, let's zoom out, well, no, while I'm still zoomed in, let's fix these little spots of skin I noticed. There we go. And eyedropper, pick the very light skin tone, bucket, make sure I'm in the skin layer, and do that. Now, zoom out to, what was it, 17? See the whole page? And there we go. So I'm going to save it as page 16. 16 pan of the fourth issue flats. Click save, replace it, and that's a wrap. Thank you guys, and again, I will mention all the places you can follow me is Rent Arb Studios on Facebook, Rent Arb Studios Comics on uh, Instagram, Rent Arb on Twitter and Rent Art Studios on YouTube, which you are now watching, so there you go. Bye.